Welcome back to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 31, part 2. It is the 27th of December 2019. I'm still Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's coughing, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood, the human sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, who is the half elf druid. Hi, I am Scott. I am playing a very confused as hell Crumbar, who is a half orc paladin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Excellent. So I think we just immediately cut back into Crumbar on his ass, mouth open. Like, <laughs> yeah, like an axe at either like, side of him, right? Face. Like an axe at either side of him, like his original axe from like a. Roberta and mm. like the like a dark red black one at his other side just staring blankly at the camera mm -hmm. so yeah I, I, I like this idea that I just kind of stand up kind of like looking at like obviously I would have seen this lightning bolt come down and be like zoop and I'm just kind of like following like with my eyes like the trailer where the lightning bolt would be and I'm just like I like her. <laughs> yeah so it was literally like um, you get smacked back, she says that one liner mm. that she said and then boom you know it just it strikes and by the time your eyes mm. have adjusted to the bright light she's gone. Yeah it's just like been flashbanged and that kind of mm -hmm. the fuck just happened there mm. and it's like just kind of you know that way it would probably be like racing through every conversation we just had there, just being like uh -huh. the hell, and then it's that kind of in, in shock for a wee, that kind of, and like not each shock, but like starstruck for a wee while and then just kind of like oh, yeah, horses, where are they again? <laughs> and then I'll just kind of continue um, on my way <laughs> I'm on my way to get the <laughs> to find the uh, to find the uh, the horses. I love it out of context. People listening to this just hear Callum saying the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 That's why I looked up. Like, oh. I've also just noticed that there is some random wee pink dot on the map. Oh, it's fine. We'll get rid of that. I'll get it. Boop. Um. But yeah, so. So that that's kind of what has just happened, and I'm just kind of like. So yeah, like I think like yeah, you stand up, you can like pick up your axes, like the fuck. Pick up myself. Yeah, pick up yourself. Pick up your axes. Look around and go. Horses. <laughs> I can deal with horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like I can do horses right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything else is a no. Mm -hmm. Let's not take that out of context. So meanwhile, oh. <laughs> Eric, Mister on top uh -huh. of the. Uh, the Watchtower. Mm -hmm. Every time you say that, I just get Jimi Hendrix in my head. Can I, All can I roll? Side. The Bear McCready perception. version, of, yeah? yeah? Yeah, Bear McCready, of oh. course. Sorry, you were saying, can you walk? I want to roll a perception to see if I saw any lightning. You don't even need to, you do. I'm about to say that to you. Like, you, you oh, look over okay. at the horizon so and you see, see like a, a lightning strike. I mean, you're really bad at sense of direction, so you just know that. That is south of, or is it south? I guess, yeah, sure. It's south ish of where, you know, you are. It's in the distance. You just could be stood there looking and watching, like, really alert all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Like, I was kind of like sat down and all of a sudden I saw that and I've just like spun around and I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, because it's not like you can't see that well, but there is literally just this bolt of blue. Right, and that's it. And then it's dark again. Million, million questions have running through, uh, my head, and yeah, right. I'm just like, what do I do? And then all of a sudden, I, I look around to see if Aria and Kitty is about. Can I see them? Are they around still? Are they awake? Are they asleep? Where are you both? Um, depends was, how much time it's elapsed because I know we were planning on sleep. Uh, it's only been about an hour, an hour and a bit. 
I was at the fire, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're still next to Lorraine, I think, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, like, do you want to roll a medicine check or something, or are you just prodding him? Like... No, I'm just prodding him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so... You prod him, nothing seems to happen. He just sort of rattles over the, the armor slightly. Yeah, like you can, like you nudge him. He kind of wobbles a bit. Set really, his armor is a wee bit toasty. You know. Yeah, that's about it. What about Arya? Where's she? Is she within like you know, reach of a. Uh, Eric. Within reach of whom? Yeah. Sorry. Eric. In, um... the, in the sense of him being able to get your attention without screaming across a camp. Since people are trying to sleep. I mean, I'd probably be f flitting around doing various little jobs that I could do, like if there was something. Um, but otherwise, I'd probably be resting or just fussing about with Ruya. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I know how to contact him. I'm going to use my dancing lights to buzz about in her face and look at me really annoyed. Okay, so yeah, like this little thundercloud is just kind of chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, can't, I think we'll kind of have to notice that, eh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very annoying, yeah. <laughs> it's like a little fly just buzzing about your head. Oi, what's up? I just point at the direction, I'm like, don't want to say anything, but I'm just like, big eyes staring down at him, both like, the shit's gone down. Sure, you're all... I get closer to him to see what's going on. Uh, do you want to join Wait, him on what? the I... on the tower or whatever? Yeah. 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 So you set up to the tower, so you can actually like have a slightly more whispered conversation now if Eric wants to fill you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After shout. So as we're all huddled, I'm like, there's a huge bolt of lightning coming from the southish direction. Yeah, you can kind of point in that rough direction, yeah. Yeah, Could I figure point try point. to figure out which direction that was? Yeah, it's the way you just ran in. Yeah. Okay. So it's likely the way that Crombar and Decana would have went. Yeah, that's that's what. Oh I'm goodness! Do you think they're okay? I I I believe that's the direction they ran. Um, to look for the horses. So there's possibly something went down there. Um, it looked like. My lightning. I mean, lightning's light, lightning, right? I know, but like you could see, like if it was, um, if it came from the sky and it was natural, it, it did. Small. It came from I'd the sky it looked... and it struck the ground. Ah. Like it, it came from a. But it's not raining, and it's, it's not, not raining. It's not correct. Raining. Yeah, it's barely. Did we hear a loud thunderous boom. I mean, I guess you would have eventually, right? Like there would have been. The bright light, yeah, been... and then the crackle that kind of eventually like, reaches you, right? The, since the it wasn't far away, you would have heard it almost instantly. Um, so yeah, like considering it is only like an hour away, yeah, you probably like that's maybe what caught your attention, right? So there was the bright light and sound just almost at the exact same time. You turn, and then by the time you like look and focus, it's already dark again, right? But it's unmistakable. It was a, like a strike of lightning. But there isn't clouds in the sky, right? So it's not natural. It's not. It's not come from a natural source. It was definitely magic. Did you hear something like a scream or something that would let us know that somebody's been hit with it? I mean, <laughs> imagine the camera was actually just really <laughs> unfortunate, and she was just struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'll be back for you, Crumber. Ah! <laughs> that would be like the worst teleportation spell ever. It's like, you can change location, however, you will get third degree burns. No, I mean, that's you're something she wanted to. Maybe she's not magic at all, and it was just she got hit by lightning, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the lightning critted. <laughs> <laughs> she no longer exists. Yeah, I mean, we don't know, right? Crumber just thinks it looked magical. <laughs> oh, with his amazing rule. Can I send Ruya to, like, you know in that direction mm -hmm. and be like send both birds um, with a sort of oh my god what would be an easy command kind of like don't be hit by lightning tell me what you see I mean 
I can oh, literally no, no, see like, through the eyes find, of my bird. Find my friends and tell me what you see. Yeah, but does Kitty see that to anyone on the top of the tower? Or just, you know... I, I did say send both birds. Yeah, not like Eric did, but I, <laughs> I want to know if Sophie's thoughts are Kitty's words. Yeah, like literally, I like while I was sort of saying that, I'd be like, yeah, but I, I can literally see through the eyes of my bird. With a bit of a smug grin like, eh -heh. What? Magical bird, baby. <laughs> and I just sort of like uh, grin, like eyebrow raises, like eh, whatever. Eh, eh. <laughs> well, that's fine then, because you know, if there is any danger, then then Ria doesn't have to put itself in it herself. Mm -hmm. It. I think Ria is just gonna. Start I fuck there. up sometimes. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, Ria just maybe like. Is probably like perched on your arm or something and just kind of cocks her head and looks quizzically at uh, Kitty. I'll just scratch it under its chin. And then it gets distracted mm -hmm. by that and it's enjoying itself. So, Kitty, do you <laughs> summon your bird? Yeah, I'd like unzip Zip. the little <laughs> realm of reality that it's in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it changes every time I say it. it's like the realm. Uh, it's, it's the same as a <laughs> Glitterhagen with its upper city, its lower city, its under city, its, <laughs> yeah. you know. It's got its own castle there, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is Lord Burb of Alico. No, Lord Alico of the Burbs. <laughs> um, anyway, I like stick my hand in, pull it out, and it's and Alico is, is perched on there, like, mm. ready to go, doing its little, like, wiggle, like, let's go. I just sort of <laughs> chuck it in the air and off it flies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't tell in it, the right direction. Tell it to do anything, or no, it it, it can read my thought. So, what thoughts do you give it? Go over that way and and do bird stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll set it off flying. Get mm. myself sat down, sort of like in like a meditative, meditative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. No, yeah, meditative. Yeah, meditative sort of state, and then. I like close my eyes and concentrate, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, so you want to like warg into it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So like, <laughs> Eric and Arya are on top of this tower. There's a bit of a wind blowing now, and uh, Kitty just like becomes a bit more like Reach, I guess, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I guess so. for, like the first time ever. Um, Kind of meditates a bit, and then is there any kind of like visual cues on you? Like, do you, you open your eyes and they're like glowing or swirling, or do they become like bird eyes, or like what? Like, or is it just your eyes are closed and nobody can tell? Nobody can tell. Cool. So yeah, uh, but like, if if someone was to like shake me and cause me to open my eyes, then just see like the black void. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you're as if your pupils are like fully dilated, and then. Yeah, it's like the... I'm possessed by a demon. Mm -hmm. But obviously not, because that would be bad. Yeah, you didn't summon this thing from a fiery pit thing that you stole <laughs> from an old woman hall, no? <laughs> Don't uh... tell Crumba! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um... I feel a purging coming! <laughs> yeah. Right, let's find out then. Right, so let's see, you have the ability to, while your familiar is within a hundred feet of you, you can communicate with it telepathically. Additionally, as an action, you can see through the familiar's eyes and hear what it sees up until the start of your next turn. Blah, blah, blah. During which you're deaf and blind. And yeah, so it can go about a hundred feet away. Um, let's see. Well, that's not really very far. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can work out how far that actually is. So... Where's the button I want? This button. Yeah, so it isn't that far at all, sadly. So if you're up where Eric is, yeah, your bird can kind of just survey the area you're in. But yeah, it can it can go over that way, but then it, it wouldn't necessarily really report much. I think maybe like it flies off and then you kind of like lose track of it, right? Like the connection severed, so you can like come out of it as soon as it flies beyond hundred feet. Yeah. Um. So like, you kind of get into its like mindset, if you will. I mm. see it soaring towards it and then everything just kind of goes black and you can like come out of the, the kind of comatose state. Um, right. Well, it's gonna go, have a look, come back, and then I'll find out. 
guess I've got a limit on stand up, dust myself off and just sort of look at it flying off into the distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it does so. And everyone is happy. So yeah, the uh, yeah. Does anybody do anything else at camp? Do you get ready? Do you like, just maybe like go investigating what's happening over there? Because I mean, realistically you've seen a very, would, very dangerous crumbar. I, I got a very wounded, sorry, crumbar. I am um, stagger off into the woods with somebody that did attack him with the sword. I am... Um, but obviously now they could be under attack, right? Depends what's going through people's heads. You oh no, they, maybe they're in danger. I mean, where Cumber's just like, must get horses. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind as well, it might be the Red Road Man, considering he does have electricity powers, right? So, mm, lightning think, magic. Yeah. So they could be under attack by that guy. Just depends what you guys would think, given that you aren't privy to the conversation he had with the Ghana. Welcome so... to not metagaming. <laughs> <laughs> We need to know which of the three of us are ready to um, go straight away. Like, who's probably the best in the best shape to Reach go. Reach will who's volunteer to look after the camp, if need be. Okay. No <laughs> need one more to stay over the camp. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think leaving one person in charge of camp is probably not good. Well, I mean, you've got some makeshift militia, right? <laughs> Back a sec. Okay. So what about Arya and Kay? What's going on? Well, I'm probably going to wait till my bird comes back within mm -hmm. range before yeah. making a decision, really. Because there's no point yeah, running no. off. Mm. Yeah, I think that would be the smartest thing to do. Yeah, wait yeah, for some time. Wouldn't, that wouldn't have gone far enough away that it's going to take hours. Why don't you give us a perception check from your bird, then? Uh. Where is... So it's in the companions. It's there... Right, so... Let's have a look-see. So it didn't do that well, did it? Really? No. I think it's because it's dark, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be a good, good reason for I it. I feel like that's, that's good enough as to why it's a bit... Yeah. Um, right, so where do we get up to with discussions? Although, your sheet for Alico is... Pretty blank. That's kind of broken. Yeah. It should look different. I noticed that. I was, I was just like... Nothing. Yeah, I'm going to roll stats for what it... What is the modifiers on those? What, did, what does it roll with? Uh, D20 plus... Three, and it should have been. Yeah, it should have been a plus four. So those are both one higher, but even with that, yeah, we need to rebuild that because it should be just like Ruya. Quite frankly, only yours is considered magical, and hers is natural. Yeah, but it's almost as if, like, when you've clicked on it, you've maybe selected an option that turned it into a character sheet instead of keeping it the NPC sheet. It should be. I, I don't know, I just literally clicked on it in the... It's okay, I, I'll, I'll, look at it, I'll fix it um, at some point, because it's almost half and half, which is weird. I do not understand. But that's fine, we'll fix that. I'm sure it looked different before. Maybe yeah. in the update there was some that broke it. That's okay, we'll, we can fix it. It is essentially a hawk, isn't it? So, yeah. let's see, I'll get some hawk stats. It's not a, a seahorse, like one of the options is. Um, just I want so, a seahorse. D20 plus 4. Uh, no, no, you've like we've we've done it, right? Like it's just oh, add, okay. Well, you just add one to it, and it's not going to make much of a difference because it's already a D plus three that you rolled. Um, uh, it has keen sight, so the advantage would apply as well. But like a nine isn't going to do much different in the dark. Mm -hmm. um, right, I'm going to assign this to you in, on the hopes that it's going to work. Where are you, Kitless? Um. 
Right, so that should be in the journal tab. I'll move it down to the companions bit. Where are we? I like how to. Let's dump that in here. And there we go. There we go. That look better? It should look red. Yeah. Cool. Don't know why it changed, but here we are. Um, I'm glad that's fixed. But yeah, so bit of time passes. Um, you can obviously feel the burp back in range. Um, yeah. and it, like you just communicate with each other, and it pretty much says, "Can't see shit, Captain." You know, only with bird vernacular. So, you know, <laughs> caca. There was nothing. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, as far as my bird can say, see, there was. Nothing. Yeah. So. Like it's difficult because the canopy of the trees hides a lot and it's dark, right? Mm. So it is difficult to try and make out anything. But given the route it took um, and the time it took to fly, yeah, it's probably about the same amount of ground that Crumbar could have covered, right? If he'd yeah. wanted to. Um, so yeah, like he would need to run. If you were going to try and catch up with them, um, pretty damn flat out, quite frankly. Not that that run in life, yo. Mm. But there hasn't been any other lightning strikes, right? So. Mhm. In that entire time. You'd also probably need to consider like, who'd all go because you can't really leave the camp. As I said, Reach is happy to stay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weirdly, right? You should probably go, because uh, she's the fastest out of the ones that can go. The fastest so, uh, and the sneakiest, so yeah. <laughs> yeah boy. Um, just depends what, should... do, yeah, do we want her to go alone, or...? Mm. How are we even going to do that? Yeah, right. It was one lightning strike. Yeah. The bird come back said it saw and, nothing. I mean, you'd know that one you of probably your lightning strikes. As well. Eric, you would know that one of your lightning strikes would be enough to finish Crumber off in the condition he was in, right? Good point. <laughs> yeah. So what's the plan? What say uh, are you doing now that the bird's back and it basically said it can't see anything? Who's ready, fit, and like healthy enough to move and go? I probably am, to be honest. Mm. I mean, keep in mind, this could be Crumbar and Decana in danger, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I think we should do that. I think we should head that way, those of us that can. Especially re with reaching, with leaving Reach in the... Yeah. Do you want to leave uh, Ruya with Reach then, so she can possibly ward him if anyone's approaching? Yeah, that might be a thing. I don't know if he'll be able to understand what my bird means for danger. I just have this image um, of you sitting like Ruya on his arm, and then when you just come back, he's just standing there looking at it, and it's looking at him. Or he's in a Zen pose and it's on his head. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, who's going? That's a, let's, let's make this snappier. Eric, are you going or staying? I want to go, because obviously the can is in trouble. Well, could be. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and that would look very bad if you were just seen leaving Glitterhagen with mm -hmm. Lady Decana Saphir of the House Saphir and then you came back and it was like, oh, aren't those those, isn't he the, you know, the family that asked our family for money and then never got any? I guess mm -hmm. we'll wait on the ransom note. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. There's like, keep in mind, right? She is Lady Decana Saphir with parents, right? That are like a famous house. Whoa, low blow. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, this is where I'm getting all like, Maybe she was paying them to pretend they're her parents. Right. But then mm, why would you pay right. rich people, right? Because rich people like money. But, I mean, it, nope. it feels like the Deca like the Decanas, sorry, the Saphirs have. A lot of money anyway, so that would be a bit of a. I don't know, maybe you're right, you could be right. Who knows? Rich people maybe like it's money. a life death, who knows? Mm -hmm. mm. 
so yeah then, so Eric wants to go. Kitty, are you going or are you staying? I might as well go with him. Cool. Are you going or staying? Going. Okay. So, yeah, I think as you three, like, grab your stuff and get ready to, like, bolt for the gate, like, all the people, all the villagers that are, like, awake are quite worried. And, like, you just get to the gate and, you know, let's just call her Sally. Sally, uh, who is the <laughs> one that, like, was obviously spoke to by Eric and Kitty and whatnot. She's a. Uh, she seems the most together of the people, um, of the survivors. And she's like, "You aren't leaving us here, are you?" No, no, we'll be back. Why can't we all just stay together? She's kind of like in your way, but not like trying to like stop you getting out. She's just trying to be there so you can't just run past her. If that makes sense. Yeah. She just she just looks worried and upset and like, oh god, we're being abandoned, you know. You still have reach here. If you, we'll we will be back, don't worry. It's like we're only going to dip it out for a little bit. And she just, yeah, she just looks lost in thought. Yeah, we're we're just jumping out for a crumb bar, brb. <laughs> It's not that you want to explain. So there was a really supernatural bolt of lightning just a wee bit away. Like, we're going to go run at that. Okay? Because um, we're, we're main characters. Sorry. Because <laughs> lol. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So yeah, you all leave then if you are happy with that. and Yeah, off you go. Uh, is you all just going to go flat out? Am I getting some athletics checks from everybody? Yeah. Bum, go wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, we are worried at this point, so why not? Oh. That's good for Eric. <laughs> Oof, a nine. Oof. Oh, why did I roll disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it, it's a nine. At least it Tough. was your counter sheet and not Alico's, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... For whatever reason, um, Kitty, like, what's the reason why you're not keeping up with the other two? Like, obviously, Arya's just poof, gone, but that's probably because she's like part spirit of the forest, right? So, I'm a wood elf. <laughs> what more spirit of the forest could I get? Right. So, what is it about this? Are you just? I don't know. Maybe the sort of thing with my burb mm. took a bit out of me that I didn't realize. Yeah, you still got burb brain. Or yeah, people trying to look after me so I don't get lost here. I have to go searching for me. This is true. But you did better than her, so really you're doing. Yeah, she could just be trailing behind me and keep an eye on me. Make sure I keep going in the right direction. Like every now and then I'll just like do a cough, like <clears throat> back, back in line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I already disappeared. You guys can't see me anymore. Yeah. Well, like, these are. They're flagging behind, but they can't. They, uh, luckily. Kitty can see, so maybe that's why you have flanked Eric, because Eric can't see for shit. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, how are you solving that? Like, is I have my dancing lights with me. So you're just trying to like make them run with you, I guess. I'm running. I'm like from doing a load of weird hand signs, directing them around trees and stuff. And I'm like, ah, there's a tree here. Yeah, so, away, so we have that shot, around. very Star Wars style, as if it's looking over Yavin with the one guy above the treetops, and it's Reach on top of the tower, looking at. There's just these little blue lights flickering in and out of the forest as they all like snake away into the dark before they go out of sight um, from all this dancing light magic nonsense. Um, but yeah. Meanwhile. And I'm assuming he's also not trying to be stealthy as well. I'm assuming you're just bolting. So it'd be very difficult to be stealthy and catch up in time. So yeah, it's up to you as if you want to. I'm bolting. Yeah, I figured. No pun intended. But yeah. So. Every pun intended. <laughs> every pun intended. Uh, meanwhile, Crumper, can you roll an mm -hmm. athletics check for me and a survival? And uh, what, sorry? Survival. Um, yeah, you've left it. <laughs> Makes Fuck sense, yeah. yep. Yeah, I mean, I have just been knocked on my ass. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, and that is a 17. <laughs> yeah, so you know where you're going, but you're not particularly getting there to, like very quickly. Um, yeah. I think maybe you're just kind of lost in what the fuck just happened, right? And you're still just like, you've got an axe in each hand and you're just casually using them to like really lazily bat branches out of your way. And so there's a very obvious crumber shaped path that has been yeah. carved through the trees. Um, but obviously not everything sees in the dark, so it would probably be difficult to find you. Um, but yeah, eventually uh, you start to hear things are like approaching from the dark. What like, was that? Sorry. Uh, you start to hear things approaching from the dark. It sounds like um, mm -hmm. like multiple legged things approaching, as if it's like running. Mm -hmm. You hear like the grass and like the the footsteps and the like the breathing and such um, as it's approaching. Could be like you know, definitely doesn't just have two legs. It's like possibly four, five, or six. It, it's by like multiple people lies legging okay could be horses or a spider a giant spider could be anything with multiple legs <laughs> um is, is that can i hear a really coming? lost octopus or so it's either a really lost octopus or jesus okay yeah. um we've narrowed it down folks or crumbars now to do the least. Is it getting closer to me, mm -hmm. or is it? Yeah, yeah, getting closer. Yep, very quickly. Yep. Can I hide from it and basically be like, right, something's coming closer to me. Let's hide. Uh, right. And uh, kind of prepare for what is. What axe are you going to hold? Because you need to put one I'm away gonna, if you want to. I'm going to hold my normal one, not the one that I've just yeah. picked up. Bob's X, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, surf. <laughs> Lol, I am Perfect. not a stealth. So person. you stand behind, like a leaf. this, like, <laughs> no, like this big branch with all these leaves uh, that hides like your face, and you're looking through the top of it. And you can just see your eyes through it. But then when the camera mm. zooms out a bit, your entire like chest down is just standing. <laughs> 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 um. But like Crumbar feels like he's hidden quite well, and um, yeah, like as it's like cats when they hide behind a <laughs> curtain and like their like, tail like and that everything is me is hiding. Up, but their their head is behind the curtain, so they totally think that they, you can't they can't see you, uh, yeah. that you can't see them. Yeah, it's it's really bad. It's it's, but you do feel like you're hiding, so that's the important part. It's right? a Crumbar thing. Yeah, so um, yeah. That's fine. So, ca like Arya, when you make it into this, like, you know, crumbar shaped clearing, uh, yes. <laughs> I'll show you the equivalent of what you see in picture format that nobody else can see <laughs> because uh, I love it. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like, the subtlety of this image, which is essentially crumbar standing behind that branch. Um, and, and Crumbar, like you recognise, obviously Arya, and then very like eventually Kitty and Eric catch up. But you've probably got a minute, uh, not a minute, but like you've got a couple of seconds where you could have a an exchange in private between Arya and you, if you wanted, before the other two catch up. Um, so I think first of all, though, Arya, you spot Crumbar straight away. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> are you okay? Because I'm thinking maybe whatever happened has, like, addled his mind somehow. No, this mm. is normal combat behavior. <laughs> exactly. Shh, um, I'm not even here yet. I would, uh, just, like, I, so I get, like, I, I've spotted her, and I just be, and then I just say to him, like, something's coming, hide. Yeah, or that's probably gonna be us. Something's coming, get ready. You mean from that way? And I point where I came from. Was it coming from that? No, I thought it was coming from another way, wasn't it? Was it us you were hearing? Yes. Oh, was it just them that I was hearing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. four, five, or six right, legs, sorry. right? Sorry, I thought um, <laughs> this was coming from another direction. Didn't realise it was them. Right, you didn't um, actually, there was no direction ever mentioned. 
All right, well, um, screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> um, it's okay, uh, it, right. it makes perfect sense. It's in character for Crumbar to be like, I have a lot to think about right now. How dare you? Yeah, I just thought, oh, it was you guys. Yeah, we saw a lightning and we were worried. I don't know what you guys were fighting. And Where's the canna? Yeah, as I was about to say, you, yeah, right? you now realise the significant lack of the canna. So, right. by this point, this is when Eric and uh, Kitty arrive and it's pitch black. So, I don't know who Eric hits into or does Kitty stop him running ahead? No. Or I have I a light. Sort of grab, his, grab his hood. <laughs> yeah, but your lights technically would eventually fall behind, right? Because... How much can you move them a turn? I mean, if people wanted to and mentioned it, I could always have, like, you know, a fireball in my hand. They would, you I, know, I light. could always have one big light, and I could just be holding that big light. <laughs> just holding your Super Bowl-style, like... <laughs> yeah, all four of them combined into one. It is the ultimate light. The lantern. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So you've got a... Uh, maybe, like, when you stop, and then you pull your four lights together, maybe? And that's the, at that point you pull them in. Um, so yeah, maybe um, or maybe like when you arrive, you pull them in like in a kind of circle, you know, so that you can check the surrounding area, and you realise that yeah, you don't spot the canna. I look at Kumbago. Where is she? Crumbar um, also looks like he's been in a fight again. Again with a tree. Yeah. So there's that right. Like there is a significant dent in the chest plate of his armor. Seriously? Yeah. I thought that couldn't happen to. Yeah. Dragon well. shenanigans. I thought they had that thing where they couldn't get dirt. Like, no, no, that's you can't paint on them and stuff. That's what. It yeah, is. they can't be blemished that way. But this that's, has been yeah. like dented. Yeah. Which also, dead. in your head, probably shouldn't be able to happen, right? Yeah. But yeah. It has. So. But there's no Zakana, Eric. So what's going through your head? I'm looking directly at Krumba, who looks like he's been in a fight, got a dented chest plate. I'm like, where is she? What have you done? And like, again, I I, I, I still like the idea of it just think like Krumba is still not really fully processed at all. Mm -hmm. Just be like, so... She started talking a lot about um this does sound like and so I had to kill her yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she kept like, talking she started, she, she started talking so I had to like kill her and no, I was like she started talking a lot about um pride and such um then she flung me through a tree and did a lightning bolt and disappeared. What? Ma <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, my thoughts exactly. So she's disappeared. Are you okay? I need to get horses. Yes, we'll do that together. Like, yeah. Um, like, did she say anything specific before she left? She was. At <laughs> she left me. Left me, my boy. Right, guys. GG. That's it. We're done for the day. Even any. I mean, I'd be surprised if he wasn't. <laughs> Right. So um, also, sorry folks at home, this is our own private chat. Subscribe to our highest level Patreon for this quality content. That's it, we should totally do that as a Patreon. <laughs> um, oh, fuck a duck. Um, so, the scene is, Eric's like, where is she? Wait a minute, what? Lightning bolt, say what? Go. <laughs> Don't believe me, just watch. What? Um, yeah, so uh, he's asked, as she said, in specific, and like, she was mentioning about her guys seriously like, fuck off right okay no more chat <laughs> um, yeah stay in no here no more chat chat ban um, she was asking about her brother's influence you do you know any of our other family question mark 
I wasn't aware she had a brother, no. Well, do you want to roll on that? Right? Do you want to do a, sure. do you want to do a history <laughs> check? And we'll see what... Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Yeah, let's do a history check. We'll see what Eric knows. Yeah. So, at this very point in time, Eric stops, stares at Crumbar, in the light of the blue crackling like, cloud that you're kind of holding on to that surrounds you guys. And obviously you're going blue, so you probably look kind of menacing. And you realise the Decana family only have a son. Only have a daughter? No, no. A son. You've never heard of them ever having a daughter. And you've only now thought about that. I just put... <laughs> I'm just like, put my hand on my head mm. and like... Oh, God, guys. The Sophia family... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Only has a son. Has no daughter. And at this point, so, I kind of look... I was going to say, so at this point, right, how many people are like, come on to fuck Eric? Mm. <laughs> like, wait the fuck up. Sorry, I just saw a girl. <laughs> yeah. The Male tendencies. The red dress woman in Matrix all over again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Unless the blue dressed woman. The pretty lady. <laughs> So, yeah. uh, and you only thought of this now, after she's been around your sister, and your younger well, sister as well. They and didn't say you, you anything. You see Arya looking very worried right now. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the fact that his sisters never said anything... Uh, sorry, <laughs> let me go in character. The fact my sisters <laughs> never said anything like about her right and then i'm just thinking i've got that letter does it what does the letter say have i read the letter what letter i have a le i have the letter from house of fear yeah so mm. you read like maybe that's what you think you oh and you your hand darts to the letter right you pull it out and you pull your light closer and you look at it and people just are like staring at you like what the fuck is he up to and they uh, you unscroll the letter and yeah, it just says, it's like, remember, it's not signed by any of the family, right? It's just, <laughs> we appreciate your interest in, you know, trade with House Sophia. However, unfortunately, we're not taking on any more trade partners um, at the moment. Um, thank and you it's for not your signed. Interest. It is like the most generic, it's like, you know, the seal of House Sophia so that's been stamped on it, clearly by like an underling, right? Otherwise, it would have the signatures of like Lord and Lady Sophia. But that's why your sister was annoyed, remember? Because she sent that request to them. She like hand wrote one, like the like the lady of a uh, House Rainwood, right? Wrote to House Sophia and she got a generic letter back. Which is considered rude in nobility. So all that was um what a uh, Livian said to you, where she's like, This is what they sent back and then obviously you'd saw the letter at that point. So, so yeah, now, it's, it's not signed by anyone specific at all. It's just a stamp for the house. So now uh, I'm putting on the like detective hat mode, mm -hmm. and I'm like, no one questioned her from be being from that family, and we've got a letter that says she's uh, that is just a generic one with no one signing it. Is the Sophia family okay? This is me just having a monologue. Mm -hmm. Everyone can hear me just talking to myself here. Mm. Yeah, so like, while everybody else has obviously their own concerns, right? So Eric's got kind of got lost in his own like, wait, what's going on at this letter? Does MD like press him further? Because obviously, keep in mind, he's just stopped addressing you guys and looked at a letter and then just started speaking out loud. So, like, does anybody else have any more pressing questions? What does this me? mean? Like, I'll just say, I'm like, well... Who's this brother she's on about? Also, she seems to use the same type of magic as you do. Obviously, this is directed at Eric. Uh -huh. Just kind of, just kind of, still not um, paying attention. I'm like, is my family safe? She was sticking around my fa family. Is my little sister safe? Are you safe? 
<laughs> this is where I pull my hammer out and I'm just contemplating. You, you guys can just see. But that, the hammer's probably glowing yeah, very bright red. Con- like, there's probably like yeah. more red light now. You've got that kind of, you know, Rise of Skywalker poster effect where <laughs> half of it's red, half of it's blue from his like blue light bowl. And uh, maybe in fact you lose concentration on your like spell in fact as well. Or you maybe just bathed yeah, in the I've red light. I've just got the hammer, hammer in my hand, just like staring in the darkness. Well, mm-hmm. the red. It's gone yeah. from blue to red. Mm-hmm. Right. Just... So yeah, and I think. Um, yeah, it's very obvious for everybody, right? Because one minute you had this blue, like storm cloud light that you had, uh, and that just like dissipates, and then you just all notice that this red light's been there the whole time as he's holding onto the hammer. Generally, only glows when he's about to teleport, guys. So, yeah. Don't do anything rash. I just I I look at him and go, "I'll see you back in Glitterhagen." We just. I'm thinking Glitterhagen, and I hit the hammer and fall. So keep in mind, right, let's, let's pause before you do this, right, and we'll have a, a, a tactics conversation first, right? Remember, you are standing close enough that if you did that, you'd probably, we might get stuck you'd probably pull okay. everybody in with you. So you could take a... I'm gonna, I was going to say, yeah, you, could narratively step, back. you could narratively step back and then do it if you wanted to. Yeah, imagine like when I uh, when I was doing my little monologue, I was walking around, and then I'm a decent distance away, and I just like hammer out, look at him, hammer to see you in Glitterhagen, and then you smash the hammer. Yes. Well, I have smashed the hammer. Push the button. I have pushed the button. I don't see it. I've gone to Glitterhagen. Well, fault. Not oh, again. yeah. Mm. Eat. A 19, not bad. So, yeah. Use Eye of the Storm. Smash the ground. Does MD have like a oh god reaction? Do you just like jump back because you know that this thing's going to obviously like swallow up the ground to make a red portal and, you know. He's yeah, back. I'm gonna jump back. Yeah, so like, yeah, same. He's all like, I think Crumbar's far enough back. Yeah, like, like he did definitely give himself enough space. It's just in the off chance that you were worried it might, you know, pull you in. But Run yeah, to his aid. Yeah, and then um, he smacks the ground. Uh, the red glow of the hammer instantly, obviously, like sparks and dies out. And Eric, you feel like it worked, right? But there's no portal yeah. beneath you. There was no what? Portal beneath him. Oh. Oh? It did it work? Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like you're there. This is then going to start smacking the ground like, no! <laughs> so, can everyone roll perception? And Eric, la la. Eric needs to do this at disadvantage because it's in the dark, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't matter. <laughs> Wow, okay. But I need you to roll again right? regardless, Eric, because I need it twice. Because it might be a crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool. So, yeah, I think the reason why Eric doesn't notice this is because obviously you maybe fall to your knees in the ground, but like, and your hand maybe goes, like, your open hand goes down, like, touches the ground, like, where is it? Right? Because it goes dark again, right? Because the hammer stops glowing. Because uh, of the powers expend, and yeah, Crumbar, you're just staring at Eric because you were expecting him to vanish, right? To fall through the portal. Yeah, he doesn't. Obviously, um, Kitlith and Arya, Kitlith, you hear this first, right? You're like a whistling sound, like something moving through the wind very fast. And then you look up, and then Arya looks up, mm-hmm. and there is a huge, dark mass falling. You idiot, did you summon your house here? The camera oh. snaps away back. <laughs> so, oh, no. So the camera snaps away back 
So we get a shot of the canopy and the Rainwood Estate falling <coughs> in the sky. And we end our session. Not on us, right? You didn't just TPK <laughs> us, right? There. Well, I look directly above, so. <laughs> so. And yes, Arya, it is directly above. Fuck. <laughs> well. If we die by death, by, by like, house. you know, house falling on us. <laughs> oh, God. Reach is going to come back here. What the fuck? Why is everyone uh, dead? going to be on that tower, right? He's going to be on that tower. We're all going to be the, the witch, you know? He's from gonna, yeah. Oz. <laughs> Only instead of the ruby slippers, it's the ruby hammer. And uh, yeah, you're looking out over the the canopy, reaches there, and it's just this shot of this house appearing, right? Out of r <laughs> this red energy and then falling. The worrying Maybe thing. Maybe we're lucky and it's falling very slowly. I mean, narratively, it's just yeah. high up. Right. Yeah. Whoa, um, what, what did the people in Glutagen see? Right. <laughs> More so, what about the people in your house, bro? Right. Uh, <laughs> so, like a weird <laughs> <laughs> let us talk about goals, shall we? Ever so slightly. So, not die from a falling house. Let's go down the list. Reach seems happy with his goal and he's going to keep it for next week. Um, <laughs> Eric. Um, Are you happy yeah. with your goal currently or would you like to adjust it? Um, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Right. I might have to change that next week. That's okay. Uh, while I uh, clear yeah. my head. Yeah, that's okay. I think we'll do that. Um, do you want to maybe move that then to the ideas to expand on temporarily? And we'll. Because then that way you know you're going to be thinking about a new one. Yeah, cool. Uh, are you? I've not done anything towards mine this no, session, so... Not at all, but do you want to, like, sideline it and write a new one, or do you want to wait for next week, or what? what's your thoughts? I think I'll wait for next week, yeah. Yeah, cool. I don't want a side quest, okay? Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, Grumbar? Yeah, I think I'm going to need to um, think about mine again. Yeah. Possibly yeah, right. there's, there's a change coming. Yeah, because that was a... Uh, wait a minute, go several plot revelations back a bit there, Dakana. What did you say again? Um, mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. Kitty? Uh, I might have to think of a different one, because, like, I think really the, not making any progress. Yeah, the one you've got definitely is... I have, like, 100% support that goal. I just don't think it's needed just now. No. Because you're kind of caught up in other stuff, right? Had you went yeah. south instead of north, maybe that would have been... Yeah, more... I mean, we, you cannot, it's always one that we can come back. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I don't mind if he's moved them to the left-hand column and leave them there until he's want to, like, re-slot them. I don't mind that at all. Um, I don't have an issue with that. But yeah, well, um... Do you have anything in mind that you'd rather focus on then, Okay. Uh, I'll have a think. Mm -hmm. well, for now, I'll leave it till the next session. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot to process from this one mm. quite a chunk you could see um, right if that's our goals that was easy uh, let us leave Callum and Crumbar to last right let us say uh, chat with Arya so how did you enjoy that session I, I really liked it but in hindsight I just wish I'd like Followed Crumbar and 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 Dakana. Dakana to like try to like get involved in that, but that's me being a player, not necessarily what my character would or should do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I'm also thinking that it was very weird of us to let them go away on their own, considering they were at each other's throats. But you yeah, know, but hindsight. To be fair, she kind of volunteered that anyway, right? She was like, "I'll go." And then just like, yeah, like sheath her sword, and it was very matter of fact about the whole thing. So it was yeah. But when she said I'll go, I think somebody should have been like, and probably could have been me. I mean, mm. um, to say like, actually, I'm coming as well. Mm -hmm. Like a mediator, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but I I didn't think about it at that time, and then I was like, her brother? Who's her brother? Damn it! I'm not there. I can't ask the question. Mm. Right. Yeah, it's interesting. Also, we're gonna. 
come back from our player review and we're going to talk about the title because I actually just skipped that sure. step entirely, yeah, which yeah. I normally do first. Um, does anyone have any suggestions for what we'll call this session? Shocking revelations. You know you're going to oh. suggest that every single time, right? But uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll fly at some point. Um, shock twist is also good because um, it's a smaller <laughs> word. Shocking revelations is also good. You can type in your suggestions to the chat. We'll vote on our favourite. Um, I mean, bringing down the house is also. <laughs> no. Does that mean? Oh god, we've already had that one. That one is like. I can just three. imagine, like maybe the servants in the garden, like tending on some plants, and then maybe wanting to go back into the house or just shed or whatever for some, <laughs> for some for uh, some more tools or whatever, and they just look and what? Can, <laughs> if it's that, like, I can we just, everyone was in the house. Can we just name it? What the yes. fuck was that? <laughs> I've wrote the estate of this place. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> or just some poor stable hand who's like, I don't know, popped out for a wee and then suddenly he wants to go back into his little shed, whatever, and then uh, he's like, what? I, I, did, I didn't I, think I, I was <laughs> that drunk. Could be that. It could be like the fact that like there's one of the servants has just finished cleaning the entire house and now it's just like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Oh dear, it's <laughs> that's terrible. But I love it. House, is this happening? House, this happening? House, this happening? Oh, yeah. I just got that. Oh dear, I, um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I mean, really, what happened? Use tried to patch up the camp a bit. Use then didn't really plan much other than resting. Uh, Grumbar and Decano wandered off, they had a big chat, she threw him through a tree, and then oh. vanished in a little lightning, and then <laughs> Eric dropped the house on him, you guys. I mean, uh, if it lands and it don't break, we can. We now have somewhere to put all the villagers. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. That's <laughs> literally my thought process of, well, if it's falling from my great house, I don't imagine there's going to be much of a house left when it lands. Oh god, I've killed my family. Yeah. I don't think this is how like... You, like your parents went missing though, right? I don't think this is... <laughs> <laughs> imagine they were just like hiding in the underhouse. Like, yeah. exposed. Just in the basement, like, oh, oh, where did the house go? <laughs> We've like been locked in the basement for thing. 20 years. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, which one of those do you like the best then? You just have a a vote, and that can be a, what we name it. I see we've already got one vote for uh, the estate of this place. I appreciate that, Kitty. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go for that as well. <laughs> it's such a misleading title, but I kind of love it. Of course. Of course, we've got that as well, so we've got two for that. Um, look at you voting for your own. <laughs> um... Okay, I think that's winning then, the estate of this place. Uh, I'll type that in. Session 31. Get my shame emoji. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, so, let's go back to Arya. Was there anything else you wanted to add to your roundup of the uh, session? I don't know, I just loved it even though obviously I wasn't there so I just had to listen and not intervene in any way which was mm. granted quite frustrating <laughs> but it always is um, but yeah I, I just did not ever expect this sort of turn of events and I'm like damn I just feel a bit worried because I feel like this is becoming a bit more like like when I am when I play games I just, just get distracted by all the side quests so I'm not even sure we even know what our like <laughs> what life is anymore, what our goals are. It just we just seem to be clicking yes, accept, accept <laughs> on everything. And I'm just like, holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm loving it, you know? No, I'm really enjoying it as well. Um I think yeah, you're totally right. You are getting locked into a whole bunch of stuff and let's face it, it like the more you look into these things, the more it's gonna add. Um Yeah. 
I'm excited to see how it progresses, what you decide to do, and how you survive the estate falling on you. Um, I like the plan of just running really fast. That would be a great <laughs> plan, um, quite frankly. Uh, although, right, if there was ever going to be like an auspicious place in this forest, right? Lightning has struck here, and now, or at least thereabouts, right? Because you've probably walked a bit since then, and our house is about to fall on <laughs> Um, Kitty, Sophie, yeah. how are you? I just, I can't wait for the next episode, <laughs> really. <laughs> like, god damn it, is that your house? <laughs> right, I mean, who knew playing with a toy hammer a god gave you in the abyss would be dangerous, right? Especially when you're emotionally using it. Yeah, right. Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh, new title. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's when Eric says, but that is all my nice things coming towards us. <laughs> it's all broke now as well. Oh, what have dear. I done? The interesting thing is, what's that going to do for your trade deal? Right. I know I always feel like the prequels of Star Wars when I talk about the trade negotiations. <laughs> um, God. But anyway. Yeah. Um, seems like this mess will be more than just a phantom. Oh god. Um, attack of the puns. But yeah, so anything you'd like to add, Sophie? Um, it's like, it doesn't feel like a lot has happened because we've not been in like a fight or anything, but actually quite a lot has. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> in such a small space of time, like in like say two hours time, right? You sort of tidied up a camp, and then spotted a bolt of lightning, and then, yeah, like, Crumbar had, like, his entire world pulled out from underneath him, and he was smacked through a tree, and then... Yeah. And the weird thing is, as well, right, because Takana was kind of, like, impressed by Crumbar, right? And uh, mm. there was a lot of... In fact, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that when I get to Crumbar. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot happened, I will agree. Um, it was a bit of a revelation bomb. You can see why I wanted more people present for this session. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get Stu to catch up when he returns to us. I, to be fair though, it's kind of reasonable that he was at the camp and just literally sees a house appear out of nowhere in the fall. Like, yeah. oh, maybe maybe I should go next. <laughs> 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 right. Um, lightning, houses, eh, what could be next? Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, anything else you want to add? No. Okay. okay. Right. Crumbar. Scott. Yes. How are you? My brain hurts. Hopefully in a good way. Um. Yeah. Right. You pretty much got all the. Uh, you got like a whole bunch of exposition really there, right? And as I was going to say to Sophie there, um, but I realised probably should just say it to you. Like, the kind of was kind of nice to Crumbar, right? In the sense that. She was like, go you, buddy, right? You're like a force to be reckoned with. You know? Yeah. Um, and then she was confusing as all hell. Well, you just said stuff she just sounds distasteful, right? Mm hmm. And was like, hmm, cool, bye. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, thank, okay, thanks, bye. Like, she obviously uh, never got the answers involved. she was looking for. She right? wanted. Yeah. Like, it's not even necessarily that she wanted, right? She she was clearly looking for, as she said, right? Stuff about her brother, right? She was like, mm -hmm. what influence does he have here? And then you were like, you, I'm all about the great gold worm, you. And she was like, just sit down. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, the, you could the, have been, the, like, chieftain Crumbar of this new form, like, was it, whatever I you call can it. Be, I can be both. Right? But that was what she said to you, right? She's like, you pick. What do you want to be? Do you want to be the half-orc paladin, or do you want to be the orc chieftain? Right? And you were like, uh... I'm a paladin. And she was like, hmm, poor answer. To her, anyway, right? But she's never liked the Golden Order. Like, the entire time, like, even through dinner and stuff, like, she was very open about mm -hmm. not really liking them, right? Because... I mean, look at it this way. They take in people 
and make them weapons. I was already a weapon, so... Yeah. But, like, they wrap them in gold and make them look noble, and to her that's maybe not something she's okay with, right? Yeah. I mean, if anything, you've maybe seen how, what do you call it, uh, capable she is. And what, by eating me through a tree? Um, yeah, sure, let's go with that. And uh, Yeah. So it's interesting. Any thoughts for Crumber at all? <sighs> Just, that was a lot to take in, but I'm more... It'll be interesting to see what happens next with the fact that how Eric has somehow summoned a house on top of us. Mm -hmm. Shenanigans. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hope, uh, I hope um, Stuart's going to have fun continuing this game without us. <laughs> yeah. Considering I mean, we're all going to he die. He was worried he was going to die first, right? And uh... right, Stuart, I'll get you back. Yeah, hopefully not. You've got everybody else's. Uh, so, <laughs> anything else you'd like to add, Scott? Um, nothing really to add. Just um, I'm glad I'm not dead yet, and I'm interested in to see what's. I've got a lot to think about. I was about to say, guys, what do you want to do for characters uh, next session? Uh, do you want to make what, sorry? Do you want to make your new characters now, or do you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh... yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Shut up. <laughs> Uh, last but not least, Lord Eric Runewood Callum. I would say come on down, but I feel like you're. I'm already bringing it down. Bringing the house down already, yeah. It's terrible. It's so terrible. Um. I I don't know what to think of Dakana. Right. Well, uh, so do you mean Eric doesn't know what to think of her because he's got so little to go on, right? He like he still believes she is. Well, he is a bit unsure now. It's like, she's not Lady Sophia. Who the hell is she? Just like, who have I been talking to this entire time? Yeah, because right, clearly something was messing with your ability to realise that, right? Because at any point, you should have been able to be like, the Sophia's don't have a daughter. Right? Because knowing about other nobility is kind of a thing nobles should be good at, right? So, yeah. the very fact that you were like, oh, you're you're the Sophia door. Of course you are, right? That's not right. So there was definitely some shenanigans going on there. Um, and it's as soon as you read that letter, you're like, wait a minute. Almost as if, like, her need for you to believe that is gone, right? So... Yep. It's like, all, everything is like, oh no, my family, it could be, she, if she's teleported somewhere, she might have teleported there. Not saying she has, but she could have. Mm. That's like, boom. Right. I guess that's Would it, what wouldn't that be that funny? <laughs> wouldn't that be funny if she'd teleported to your house? <laughs> and then all of a sudden she'd back and like What? It's like why is the house falling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not my doing. If yeah. I can't go to you, I'll bring you to me. Yeah, right. Unintentionally. Uh, well, so what's going through Callum's head then more importantly then? I did not know that Hammer could do that. Right. Mm. Yeah. See, it's not even in the, in the description. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's, Morning, how did that happen? it's almost Morning, like items can have more text that you don't understand, right? I need to talk to the hammer. We need words, hammer. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I should crawl out of the rubble of your house. Don't even get anywhere else, you sit down and start speaking to your hammer. I'm just going to be like, an absolute emotional wreck, like, oh god, what have I done? I've destroyed my entire family. Hammer, we talked about this. This was on the no-no list. <laughs> <laughs> we meant to protect the family, not destroy them. Not tear That's them not up. what I wanted to do. You got it right every other time apart from now. Did it though, right? Well, if I gave it another direction, You moved. Yes to where you wanted to go. But it's not to say it didn't move other stuff. Wait, the hammer <gasps> the hammer's got mine on its own, of course. It's like, well I do want to go over there, but you can you we could definitely bring that out to you. Mm. Maybe something weird is going on in Glitterhaken. Wait, how did it get through the goddamn big the, wizard dome? Yeah the ward, right? What? How have I managed that? 
Right? I was a hammer manager. Yeah. Um, I will, yeah, that's the answer, by the way. So, your hammer was gifted to you by the god of travel. Right? Yeah, I guess, like, also, mortal Janus, spells don't end like, into him. Janus, the god of travel, gateways, two facedness. Yeah. Oh, two facedness. Ah, oh, nice. I have a lie hammer. So. <laughs> It's almost like you don't necessarily know the full picture. And remember, I did mention the Wizard King is not particularly pro-God. Maybe there's reasons for that. Oh God, that's the end, big bad. <laughs> the hammer? It just grows legs, grows arms, <laughs> and we, and we eyes pop open. And it's like, hello, the I'm Hammy, the nose. hammer. <laughs> or Hamilton. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. I'm Hamilton the ha no I mean been that. So So yeah, right, like there's I don't know, I've been testing because you are you're in mortal danger, quite frankly. And I, there's no point sugarcoating it. And it's I can rescue one person. <laughs> now there is a I good question, right? Smacking that hammer again anytime soon. I'm gonna be smacking that hammer every time I've got now. Well phrasing. Um Are you still doing phrasing? <laughs> it's phrasing still a thing. <laughs> Oh dear, so good, so so good. Anything else you want to add, uh, Callum? I'm just still trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah. Um, good. I'm glad this had the impact. Is maybe a better session title, right? <laughs> um, last chance to uh, change it if you really want. Um, not the impact we wanted. <laughs> but the impact you just needed. Oh, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, Nah, I think it sounds like we're sticking with the estate of this place then. Um, <laughs> even though it's more accurate, but never mind. Anyway, um, <laughs> right, oh, well, I'm done. I'm glad you all seem to be shell-shocked, as it were. Um, so that's good, I guess. Just just, just stop, Brian, stop. <laughs> Drop a bombshell on you guys. Like, yeah, it's terrible. Anyway, thanks guys I'm for playing. I'm absolute homewrecker. Oh god, you are indeed. Um, I mean... Seems like the kind of was too, right? So apparently, mm. I can see why she's got a bitch now. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. That is like if Livian somehow survives that that fall, it is going to oh be God. the first thing she says, isn't it? Even though she'll have no context. <laughs> that just be that if bitch. she doesn't, I don't know what the hell Eric's going to do. Right? He's going to snap. Yeah. Right. It's almost like building God gifted weapons is irresponsible at level five. <laughs> He's just going to run away from you all. Who's like, nope. <laughs> Yeet <laughs> teleports himself away. <laughs> Bye. That'll be fine. That'll be totally fine, right? You've got those portions of uh, the Eustoria Restorias, right? <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, yeah, because Crumbar is pretty low on. Well, all we have abilities. time to use them. That's the thing. Crumbar, Crumbar has nothing basically. Yeah, except some health, more than he had, but less than he wanted. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for playing. Uh, thanks everyone who listened to this far. I mean, bravo, you guys. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye. 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 Bye.